Oh yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Another episode of the Motley Craft server Feed the Beast style. Let me get that. Poof. I'm your host, Johnny Tons of Wood. I mean, John Megacycle. Oh my gosh, what is that? Six, five stacks? That's awesome. Whew. Been a while since I've done a recording for this. Um, let's see, server's been alive for, let me do the math, uh, Fortnite plus two. So we got 16 days here that we've been... What the heck? Hang on. I have no idea what the heck that sound was. Anyhow, I'm your host, John Megacycle, here for another episode of Feed the Beast. Motley Craft style. Uh, yeah, I was just taking care of a little bit of lumber collection. Um, I've gotten quite a bit done here. Uh, let me start you off with another tour from the scratch. Um, as I went with last week, that was a glitchy door. Uh, as I as I mentioned last week, I'm going to try to keep this as a review once in a while. I'll collect all that stuff later, but that's awesome. Um, kind of like a world tour kind of a thing, as opposed to a, hey, I'm working on this thing, hey, I'm working on this thing. So I'm, I just want to keep these kinds of videos light from now on, I think. Um, since my emphasis has shifted... Excuse me, I can talk today. Since my emphasis has shifted over to real-time strategy games, um, but I do want to make this a part of my movie video regiment. Puppies, I gotta name you, and I gotta dye those collars. Anywho, since you've last seen me, um, rubber farm right here, I'm trying to get some of my circuitry going on. Uh, tree farm. I have been, I have not been planting this all too often, but. I am trying to collect up some oak wood. I wouldn't mind a full barrel of some kind of wood, and oak is the most visually pleasing for me. Um, it's a very simple wood. There's not a lot to it, not a lot of thrills, but it's it's basic. And this might sound weird, but this wood looks the most like wood to me. Like if somebody said, uh, "Close your eyes and picture lumber." What does lumber look like to you? It would be this. It'd be brown, hard stuff that you cut up and turn into other things. Like, a desk or a chair or a table or something like this is what I think wood is I'm not saying like the other woods aren't pretty or aren't functional like birch or spruce or anything like that but I just really like the look of this oak um, I don't know why I just it's dark enough it's brown enough it's not too brown it's not too light um, but I like it it works for me so I've got that going on I plant these things every once in a while and then I come in with the lumber axe. And speaking of lumber axe, I've got some new toys. Uh, let me show you real quick here. I made a broadsword. Uh, this is the Tinkerer's Construct. I made a broadsword, reinforce three, luck, sharpness, looting three. That took quite a bit of resources. Uh, the lumber axe, I made it reinforced level four with a battery attachment. Uh, the hammer, reinforced, luck, auto repair, fortune, looting. Um, I should have put the ha uh, the battery with it, just like this one. Um, putting a battery attachment on a tool like this drains the energy out of it instead of the tool taking damage. Um, instead, I did reinforce and auto repair, which was silly because the auto repair doesn't do all too much. And the excavator, this thing is a shovel machine gun. It's ridiculous. Um, so those are my new equipment. Um, of course, the book that goes to my base. And then I also made two force packs. I just wanted a little more carry capacity. This gives me, what, nine, two, four, six, eight. Eight more slots, which isn't too bad. I keep four of them on me whenever I go mining and such. Um, so that's what I got going on here. Just make a quick run. That'll do for that, no big deal. Uh, let's see, rubber, the wood farm. Um, I cleared this out a bunch. I'm gonna be adding another two or three small buildings here. I'm gonna maintain this structure as a farm, or this area really as a farmland. And then we'll come back later, or we'll just go to a different area and start doing the advanced machines like everyone else. Um, I've got bighorn sheep. I've got wild boars. Chickens are chickens. Nothing changing there. And I've got mushrooms like crazy. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with where these creatures might come from, but they are extra plenier. They came from other worlds. Um, I am a planeswalker now. I believe... That Spectral has released a video. Come on, get in the door. 
Stupid door. Have an egg. Oh, get... I don't know what to say. They're just... Whatever. Baby chicken. Um, Spectral put out a video a little bit ago. Maybe early... Uh, late last week, actually. Um, we're dabbling into Mistcraft a bit. And I'll show you that in a second. We'll just continue with the tour here. Very simple IC2 setup. We have a generator, a recycler, a macerator, and a... Extractor? Extractor, yep. Um, so I've got some very simple machines hooked up with a bat box just to keep everything running. Not a whole lot of thrills here. I'm just doing some recycling, trying to get some more of this scrap, so... Um, I'm not really too sure what it does. All I know is Master Codex mentioned that this can be used later, so I've just been recycling up some stuff I don't need. And there's that. Uh, personal safe. Um, it's just got a couple of books on it. Uh, nothing too thrilling there. The Dark Craft armor for the Force armor right here. Uh, oh, right here. This is the Tinker's Construct, so I got that going on. Um, cleaned up some more of the area here. Enchanting area, brew stand, pretty simple stuff. Uh, this thing's still going at full tilt. I'm still pretty happy on how this has turned out. Um, I'm doing barrels right now. I want this to stay looking rustic. I don't really want anything advanced in this house. I want to keep it very simple, very simple storage. All this smeltery is very straightforward stuff. No big deal. I did add a chunk loader, uh, just one chunk. want to keep it simple. And that keeps this going like crazy. So no matter what I've got smelting, I worked on a bunch of iron right now. Uh, this will just keep going. It'll make sure that all this stuff fills out and gets completed. So nothing nothing too huge there. Uh, let's go downstairs, and then we'll go upstairs for Mistcraft. Uh, so I did do a full tour of downstairs, but aside from the berries you guys were used to, a little nether wart farm here, and then I captured a bunch of villagers using golden lassos. Uh, if you're not familiar with a golden lasso, let's just take a quick peek here. Uh, they're very simple to make. You can trap... Uh, golden, 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 golden lasso. Uh, very simple stuff. This allows you to capture and place any creature in the game. So that's how I got the pigs, the mushrooms, and the bighorn sheep into this world. I just capture two of them, bring them back, breed them up, no big deal. So I got some pretty exotic villagers that I'm not used to from vanilla, obviously. So big big uh, eyebrow villagers for some uh, of these oreberry bushes. Um, I've got a Mistcraft villager and this guy uh, chicken nuggets. I don't, I don't know how to do chicken nuggets. Worry about that some other time. But he just looked exotic so I wanted to pick him up. Get that E out of there. Get it out of there. Alright. So anyway new stuff there. Um, aside from that I'll just do a quick chat with Mistcraft. This stuff has been amazing ever since Spectral showed it to me. I've been absolutely obsessed with it. Uh, this is what I was working on last time. A bit of an area here just protected. This is the study. Um, I don't really know what else to explain. If you've seen Spectral's video... Oh, we're going to get that out of there. That was a book I was working on and didn't want anymore. Uh, if you saw Spectral's video, these are the materials that you need to get started with creating worlds. Um, this is an I forgot what this is called. Um, this is a device that holds inks and papers and produces link panels. Uh, link panels are used to create worlds. This is a oh, dog on it. A thing that holds your pages. Page holder? We're going to call it a page holder. I'm sure that's wrong. Um, these pages are used to create worlds. You can specify um, how specific you want a world to be or how vague you want it to be. You can just leave the whole thing up to chance. And that's actually what we're going to do. We're just going to use this link panel to create a world. And then this last bit here is where you put the pages together to actually create a book. And then that book is used to create a world. So what I've got right now is I've already created four worlds. I've got a dense ore world, which is um, usually very dangerous. This one has no exception to that. A crystal and quartz world, a what I call lumberjack dream, which is just a lot of various types of trees, and the wetting, which is just a lot of wet. So um, these are all randomly generated, uh, except I believe the dense ores one. I tried to work on creating that one myself. Uh, went into it, no big deal. Um, came out and of course I had my linking book so I was able to come back home so we just created this one all we did was use a link panel that's all we did and that's all you need to start 
but we have absolutely no idea what we're going to see here. It's all random, all up to chance, so we're just going to give it a try. Um, with a book in the book stand here, we're just going to go ahead and click this black spot here, and that's going to warp us to... Holy crap. Wow, did I roll some bad dice. I'm going to put this on. <laughs> That's it. That's all this world's got, huh? Wow. Well, believe that or not, that's all we got here. So, we're gonna warp home. This is my linking book. If I didn't show it before, this brings me right here to my little summoning altar, um, which I still think looks pretty good. So, actually, we have our jetpack on still. We'll just hover right up here. And what I did not like is any of that world. So, we're gonna take it back down, and we're just gonna punch it get out of here and that's it uh, so we're gonna go ahead and create another world again we're just gonna use the link panel uh, what you could do is um, this actually works off of a grammar system I guess is the way I want to call it I'll leave a link for dire wolf's video he did a very good job explaining how these work how these incorporate each other and how they function with each other so um, actually let's just grab dungeon where is that we're going to grab three dungeons. Um, depending on the frequency of the pages, depending on where you put the pages, that's how common these certain structures are, the terrain, everything. So we're just going to go ahead and grab that. When you do create a book, you can flip through the book and see the drawings. I thought we used three dungeon. Apparently I must have... Oh, east. Whoops. Dungeons, east, dungeons. Okay, I must have fat fingered that one. That's okay. So here we go. Now, since we aren't specifying anything else, the whole world's up to random. We could be sick, we could have mining fatigue. Um, this is a dark world. And dark doesn't... Oh, it's underground. Um, yeah, so it's still a dark world, though. Uh, dark is a lighting attribute you can find. Um, wow, this is very dark. Um, I don't know how far I'm willing to do exploring, considering it's dark. Oh, crap. Nine damage? I'll take that. Um, either way, just a really quick tutorial on how these work. These worlds are inhabited by whatever you summoned, or whatever we created, and libraries. Libraries are small structures that contain more pages. By coming to different worlds and raiding the libraries, you can get more and more pages. I was hoping we could have found one here so I could demonstrate further, but I don't seem to see one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to try one more time. Yeah, I don't like this world at all. Uh, we're going to try one more time. We're just going to create a linking panel. We won't modify it at all. Um, though our dungeons probably didn't modify what it produced, um, since we didn't specify anything else, it was all completely random, but that's okay. Uh, -bum -bum. If you can notice, there's a lot of simple materials I'm using. There's leather. Um, this is leather, paper, ink sacks. These are probably all the things that you really need to get started. Um, it's a very simple mod pack to get started with, and I highly recommend it if you're going to be doing any feed the beasting yourself. That sounded terrible. Um, but if you're going to do any FTB yourself, I highly recommend that you give it a try. Where are we now? Oh, wow. Middle of a village? Uh, is this another dark world? Yeah, it's another dark world. That's okay. Um, what well, we're going to travel, we're going to travel south. Usually, if you travel south a little bit, you'll find a library. We're going to, oh, look at that. Crystalline formations, just like that. Uh, those are called tendrils. That kind of a structure is called a tendril. So um, those are pages you can pick up later and explore with. Absolutely. Oh, another village. This is handy. We're just going to sit here for a second let the world generate. Um, but this is a very cool... Yeah, blaze powder. Awesome. Uh, this is a very cool way to generate a lot of resources if you don't want to destroy your overworld or 
over emphasis mining or anything like that if you just wanted to come and explore new land this is a definite definite cost-effective way to do that uh, we're just gonna go a little more south see if we see a library and we're just gonna do a little more exploring and then nope oh look at this nether quartz very cool uh, with the pages your imagination is truly the only thing that's limiting you look at these bushes like crazy what kind is that blueberry I have tons of those Raspberry, I'm sure. Come on, give me. Nom, 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 nom. Um, look at these things. This is crazy. You can you can customize the biome, the grass color, the weather, the sun. You can you can do anything you want. Um, I just walked out of a world where I created iron block tendrils. I was just mining iron, nothing like nothing for days. It was crazy. I walked out with maybe seven stacks of iron. Uh, the ore. So I easily pulverized the heck out of that, and that was awesome. Alright, I'm not seeing a library anywhere, so that's okay. Um, either way, this whole world is just linked by that book on that pedestal. So we could do absolutely anything we want here. We could punch all the cows. We could take some villagers. We could set the whole place on fire. It doesn't matter. You could do whatever you want. I mean, you could do whatever you want in Minecraft as it is. But this certainly is a nice way to do whatever you want without interfering with other players. Um, granted, with all these chunks loading, it's taking a little bit of an overhead on the server because it's trying to render all this stuff very quickly. Um, so I'm probably not giving the other players any good hope or any good uh, processing. Uh, so we're going to stop that, but it's just amazing to see. I usually just do a random one uh, just to give it a kick and see what's all out here. Look at this, a whole village. Anything you wanted to do with a bunch of villagers? Here you go. No problem. So yeah, look at this. Just gold just sitting out here. Be stupid if I left here without at least some kind of a souvenir, am I right? Okay, obviously the atmospheric conditions are not friendly. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Oh, nope, nope. I take that back. There we go. Ooh, that almost a half a stack of gold. Not too shabby. Oh, and it's raining here too? Come on. Come on. Thank you. Whew. Yeah, with all that, I just, yeah, here's that iron I mentioned earlier. Plenty of good hauls. I have a lot of fun just going in and creating a world and seeing where it takes me. It doesn't have to be anything formal or structuralized. Structuralized. Whew, excuse me, I can totally talk. Um, but I'm having a ton of fun with this. Again, if anyone's been a hardcore vanilla Minecrafter, I highly recommend it and you kind of owe it to yourself. Try Feed the Beast. You can even just try it by yourself. There's a lot of possibility. There's a lot of fun stuff to do. There's a lot of amazing things to try out. Um, and I haven't even done any machines. I've done nothing high tech. Um, I'm very sure that Spectral and Master Rat are going to be taking care of that, releasing some pretty high tech stuff pretty soon here. Uh, they're both pretty dependable for that, and I'm very sure it's going to be a good watch. I know I'm going to watch it, because I'd like to catch up and see how some of this stuff even works. Um, there's a lot of mod packs, there's a lot of stuff to do, so I highly recommend give it a try. Uh, I'm just going to go do a little more world surfing, so thanks for watching guys, I will catch you later. Let's see here. Ba -dum -bum -bum. Ba -dum -bum -bum. Catch you later, guys.